Today, our uh, presentation, we will uh, demonstrate to you our uh, experience and the details we found when we uh, start construction of uh, sky bridges in uh, Skywalk in uh, King Abdullah Financial District in Riyadh in uh, Saudi Arabia. Now, as uh, today Anthony mentioned today morning, that uh, Skywalks has become important, especially in our area where you have extreme uh, environment temperature in the summer, it uh, go above uh, 45. And uh, in the project like uh, King Abdullah Financial District, where you have around uh, 82 towers connecting these bridges together to let the people walk between the bridges to move from building to another, it become important. When we did the research, we found that in Minneapolis, in United States, it was the first bridge was uh, built. And also we found in Canada, there is a, a skywalk system, which is the longest so far, which the total length is reached to 18 kilometer. This is a picture taken uh, one year back for uh, King Abdullah Financial District, which shows the construction. It's uh, maybe the biggest construction site so far. Uh, 82 bridge, 82 towers, uh, sorry, it's going uh, the same time. And this is a picture showing the layout of the bridges and also the blue line it showing the location of the skywalk bridges. It's a big number of bridges. The total uh, is 82, it's 98 uh, skywalks in total. And the mission is to connect 82 parcels together. Now, this project being split into two phases, phase one and phase two. At present, we are uh, in phase one. Uh, so far, we constructed uh, 15 bridges. Now, the design of the skywalk, it's unique. Uh, we uh, make it a typical module, you can see in the middle, where uh, the width of the, of the skywalk, it's, we have two types, four meter and six meter. The typical module, it's uh, always the same. The only difference is the width, where the end module, where you have uh, the, it vary in the dimension from building to building, from location to location. And uh, when we started the construction, we were aware that the difficult part of the sky uh, walk will be in the end module, in the termination with the other parcels, because uh, every building has different kind of facade, different system. And the uh, termination is the critical area where you need to integrate the system, seal the building, especially that all these bridges, it's controlled temperature. This is a cross section in the skywalk showing you the main element and the bridge, which is mainly the external envelope which is curtain wall uh, with the ceramic fret to give certain pattern for the uh, skywalk in uh, this district. And the main frame is a steel. And you will see inside the architect chosen here to have a wooden raised floor. You have a, two, you have a balustrade on the side. And you have the fabric uh, screen, which is cover most of the internal wall. Now, the structural framing, uh, we use uh, uniform pipes with uh, certain thickness. The thickness being defined after we complete the structure analysis, and we took the worst scenario in regard to load. The steel pipes connected with the special notes custom made, and uh, this is steel uh, pipes, it's uh, split it to rings and diagonals. Now, the diagonals is the part which is connecting the rings. And again, the degree, the position of the diagonals, it's vary based on bridge by bridge and also the location of parcels, which, con which the bridge connecting. Also, the, the base of the bridge, where you can see the structure in the picture, is part of the structure, which gives the strength to the bridge. And also, 
it, uh, it has another purpose to carry the MEB service, which is hung from the bottom. Now, this show you the 3D modeling for two typical uh, module. And uh, as you can see, is the notes is very important element, which uh, any, uh, if you made some mistakes in designing the nodes, you will not be able to connect the elements together. Now, this uh, design, it need to, you know, uh, respond to certain uh, criteria, such as the movement of the building. You have two different parcels. The parcels has different uh, reaction, different loads. You have the wind load, the, the bridge load itself. And uh, to uh, come with a proper solution, we fix the bridge from one side and from the other side. We, let it, uh, we uh, sit on top of special bearing. It was custom made. This bearing allow for the movement in the one direction, guided direction, and also it allow for lifting. In any time, they may require to do some maintenance for the bridge, so you can replace the bearing completely by jacking the, the bridge up and taking the bearing out, replace it with a new one. Now, for the steel fabrication, we are talking on a tolerance of maximum 20 millimeter minus plus. That's why with such uh, uh, you know, accuracy, you need to use uh, 3D modeling, which is the start. We generate the 3D modeling from the architect design intent. Then we transfer from this uh, 3D model the, we export using Tecla. We export the model to XMI file. Then from XMI file, we again transfer it one more for time to the CNC machine. In such structure, you need to use high accurate machine in the cutting and the notching and the drilling to make sure that you are not going to make mistakes in the fabrication. Any mistakes in a bridge which lens start from 20 up to 80 meter, it can accommodate a lot of variation where you will reach a point you will not be able to connect the members together. So the accuracy, it's uh, very important, not only in the aluminum, even in the steel, which carry all the external elements. One of the also important issues which we are uh, using uh, to produce the skywalks is the pre-assembly. For such a shape, pre-assembly is must to ensure once the material being produced in Dubai and shipped to Riyadh, we don't allow the installation team to do any kind of fabrication or refabrication on site. The bridge must go for just installation. So we provide the team at site with uh, a 3D modeling assembly uh, drawing with a code system, which help them to erect and do the assembly without any mistakes. The photos, which you can see uh, below on the left, it showed the pre-assembly process, which is taking place in Dubai factory. The other one, which is in the middle, we have uh, made uh, assembly area on site to allow the worker to do very quick erection, to do assembly, then shift the model ready to the site. Now, the steel erection, the project is too congested. You have, as I mentioned, uh, 82 parcel, you have 82 contractors working together at the same time. All the time, the roads, it's, uh, there is restriction of using the roads, there is restriction of moving even inside the roads. So there was two ways to do the erection. The first one, which is go traditional way and do the erection like the stick system curtain wall by assembling the bridge member by member. Especially in the area where you can see in the photo here, you cannot take heavy load mobile crane inside near the bridge. This is taking mo too much time, but you have no other way. So we used to build the uh, scaffolding and the uh, steel frame at the bottom. It's like a jack, jacking just to help the workers to do quick erection. And you can see this is the way that we move the uh, diagonals also with the ring profile piece by piece and the workers on the scaffolding just to do the erection. The other uh, efficient way to do the erection 
and this is, was not possible in all the locations, only in certain locations where we got roads that allow us to take to the inside the heavy mobile crane. We used to do a full model assembly, then we left it in one shot. Uh, in the other area also, we were able to shift two modules at the same time. And this was uh, the best because this allowed us to uh, assemble a bridge of 80 meters in three days. This is one uh, also photo showing you the uh, lifting uh, of the typical module. Now, the facade system, originally when we started the project, the concept was using a uh, normal stick system. But we were a little concerned about the, uh, the system performance for the water uh, uh, and the air penetration. So we decided to move the system from a stick to semi-unitized, uh, which is cassette system. So we use the bracket, which allow to absorb the variation in the steel, because steel of spanning of 80 meter, you can expect there will be a deflection and there will be some variation in the alignment. Then on top of that, we build the frame or a subframe, which is here in the picture. Subframe, and this subframe, on the ring one, we provide the main gutter, which allow the water to drain out of the system. This is little more, little more uh, detail technical. And here you can see the bracket, which is connecting the complete facade to the main member. Now, it was important to let the bracket move in three direction to absorb the steel tolerance. And this allow the workers to move fast, even though there is some variation in the steel alignments. This is some details that show for the uh, specialist in curtain wall to see the system details where we move from normal stick system where you need to fix the glass by using some glass holder. We moved it to cassette system where we bonded the glass in the factory and the glass, it's a very heavy piece. The weight of the glass reached to 800 kilograms. So we did not rely only on clips. When we moved it to castle system, we bonded the glass on a frame, and we provided this is clipping system which catch the frame and not allow for any movement and take the complete load. Now, the facade erection, the design we made, allow us, as I mentioned at the beginning, to fix the subframe first. And the subframe, the first is the starting point was to put the bracket then you go with the ring uh, profiles, this which, which is the first step. Then the worker will go and fix the diagonal members. Now, the way we made the connections, it is uh, give you a full confidence that there will be no water penetration in the system. All this connected area was sealed with membrane. The glass, as I mentioned, it's four meter. The length of the piece, and it's around 800 kilometers, is no way you can carry, a worker can carry such a heavy piece. That's why we use uh, suckers, hydraulic sucker with a high capacity. And uh, the glass was left by the hoist, which is fixed above the parcels, to the location where it needs to be installed. Now, for the internal, for the pieces which is coming at the bottom of the skywalks, we change the location of the hoist and we fix it inside the skywalk to allow us to lift the glass from inside. And you can see in this photo the back panel for the spandrel pieces, which make uh, the insulation. And this is another photo showing the sucker, which is holding the glass. This one picture was taken from the parcel showing the erection of the glass, and you can see the glass has a, a ceramic frit with the pattern which gives this uh, unique design. <clears throat> now, at the beginning of the project, we came with the idea and we presented to the client that uh, this project is uh, going to be the center of Riyadh. All the main banks, they are planning to shift to be uh, 
in the district, in this district, and in addition to that, a few big malls there going to be. Uh, we, we explained to the client that you could generate uh, revenue from the skywalks, and we developed a design where we provided high resolution screen and the certain uh, glass panels, which he can, we told the client, you can use it for advertisement and you can generate revenue. Especially that this uh, skywalk, it's visible in a comfortable way from the people who either they are coming in the cars or they are walking under the bridge. In addition to that also, we proposed to him to put in screen uh, inside the bridge from the both sides. And the system when we design, even though at that time the client was not that much really uh, convinced with the idea because of the investment, but we took the initiative and we were, when we designed the system, we made provision to accept screen in any time in the future if the client decide to go for that. By the way, two weeks before we were with the client and he gave us the instruction now to move and give, uh, build the mock-up on site with high resolution screen. Now, the service, which is the air conditions, it's all being hung from the bottom of the, of the skywalk. The platform, it's holding the all equipment and the uh, supply, uh, air and the cold water is coming supply and the power is supplied by the parcels. This photo is showing you the bottom of the skywalk where we have the fresh air allowed to go inside. There is a louvers. This is one photo was taken uh, eight months back when we did the first mock-up for the internal finish. It's uh, unique. You can see the stretched uh, panel uh, ceiling being used to cover the internal. The windows with the shape, with the pattern, the reveal, the handrail, the raised floor and also the fire doors, which is uh, being installed on the both sides. Now, the internal finish is very important element here, and the architect, his design tried to reflect the external shape of the skywalk to also reflect it inside. And all these lines, which is the joint between the screen, it come exactly in the same center of the external, of the uh, center line of the curtain wall outside. The system we use, we allow us to move the same dimension inside and just make it smaller. Now, from uh, the above, this skywalk project, maybe it is the first being uh, constructed in that big, uh, large scale, but it's uh, economic and effect, effective uh, solution for uh, more uh, sustainable, uh, you know, uh, solution, especially in our area, and uh, it's going to decrease the use of the cars in this uh, project, especially once all the construction is finished. It will not be easy, really, to move in car between these towers. And uh, also, it saves a lot of time. Uh, the client, and today there will be a presentation afternoon about the layout of uh, this project. The client, when he made the design, he allow for a parking area in a certain location, and there will be six uh, line of monorail which can move you to the corners of the project. But to go inside, you have two ways, either to walk through the skywalks or you need to use a car. And the most easy way is to walk through the skywalks. This movie will show you the mock-up which we did in one and a half months. The last picture, it was showing how the skylight should look like after we install the high-resolution screen with the LED light on the joint. Now, 
that's what I have on the Skywalks. It's a very landmark project that we are doing as of today, and we hope we can complete it by end of next year, which is total 57 bridge. I will just share with you three slides about some also a very unique project at present we are executing, uh, which is uh, ITCC development. It's a big center in Riyadh where we also integrated in the high-rise building a screen not only for shadow, but it's also to, uh, we are now giving the opportunity to the client to change this from normal lighting system to high-resolution screens. Another also uh, big project which should be completed by end of the year, where you can see also the architect has no limit. This be which uh, shown on the, on the right uh, top, where it's just fixed on uh, two points, and it's dancing around the building. The other uh, one, which is on the bottom, on the left, it's a uh, big conobi, which is moved from horizontal to vertical. This is a, you know, it's a word in Arabic called uh, move. And the architect, he tried to make it as a conobi, form it as a conobi. Some completed project, Burj Khalifa, we completed in 2010 the complete external facade, and so far still it's the tallest building in the world. Uh, some other project in Dubai, Al Gurir City, and uh, Emirate Financial Towers, Conrad, Park Towers. This is, uh, I like to share with you, uh, our workers was uh, four years before fixing uh, unitized panel and the stainless steel feature on a height of uh, 828 meter in Burj Khalifa. And the photo down, it's for the last panel which we installed in Burj Khalifa where we announced official completion. At that time, we used to go vertical. Now we are moving horizontal by installing the skywalks. By next year, we will complete 12 kilometer uh, skywalk system, but horizontal, not vertical. Thank you very much. <laughs>